Hey everybody, I had a request from a student to work the heritability problem that pertains to uh, the parent offspring regression. So I've called that up here in Photoshop and I'm just going to quickly kind of show you the basic idea of how, how these things work. So I'll zoom in a bit here so that we can uh, see the basic guts of the problem. This is from, I think it was last year's exam, so now we're going to call it a practice problem. Uh, what I'm showing you is just a simple uh, linear regression of essentially offspring on parents for some fictitious example. Uh, it looks like this year we did milk production in uh, purple worms, but it doesn't doesn't really matter. Okay, so now of course I've gotten some uh, Photoshop issues, so there. Apparently we're gonna rasterize a red rectangle. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. Anyway, um, this is one of the several ways that I taught you how to calculate uh, narrow sense heritability. And so what I'm going to do, this will be a little different because the, to answer this question, it's actually very straightforward, the, the answers, but I just want to remind you of some of the, the concepts. So one of the ways that we can calculate narrow sense heritability, and then remember the heritability shorthand is uh, h squared, please don't take the square root. Uh, is by capitalizing on the fact that additive genetic variance is primarily what is responsible for resemblance between relatives. And that's what's captured in this parent-offspring regression. So we've got the trait in offspring over here. Oof, I have to write, I'm just going to write, oh boy, all that, you know, offspring. Writing sideways is hard. Uh, on the y-axis and parents on the x-axis. Now this is a got of a bit of, of a wrinkle, this particular problem. We'll get to that in a second. So we've got offspring traits on the y-axis, parental traits on the x-axis. In this particular case it's daughter's milk production, because only females produce milk, against mother's milk production. And uh, We've plotted uh, all of the raw data here. And then this line, this black line here, is the line of best fit for a linear regression. And if you recall, uh, um, the way we parameterize a line of best fit is with a slope and an intercept. Now, I learned it as y equals mx plus b. Your uh, textbooks uses b as the slope. Uh, so that's why your notes say that the slope is b. But the reality is, I've shown you down here the, the equation for the line. And I'll just switch pen colors. The slope is the coefficient for x. So the slope of this line is 0 0.26. So I'm just going to use the word slope so we don't get confused with b's and m and, and things like that. The slope is 0 0.26. When you do a parent-offspring regression, there's a direct relationship between heritability and slope. However, if it's a single parent regression, then heritability equals 2 times the slope. And in your notes that says b, but let's just call it slope. Okay. If it's a midpoint, a mid-parent regression, or you use the average of both parents, then the heritability is equal to the slope. So if we scroll down a little bit here, calculate the heritability for purple worm milk production. It's literally just get the slope and multiply it by two because it's a single parent. So you would just write, I'll change my pen color here, heritability equals two times the slope which is equal to 2 times 0 0.26, which is equal to 0 0.52. And again, our sanity check is heritability has to be between 0 and 1. That's the answer. That's 5 points. 
Here, we ask what type of heritability the D do these data provide? Well, I've taught you three types of heritability. Narrow sense, broad sense, and realized heritability. These data, parent-offspring regression, rely on additive genetic variants. This is narrow sense heritability. Okay, so it's as simple as that. This is just one of the ways we can calculate heritability. Another way is twin studies, and I can do another video that, that shows you some of that. All right, I, I hope that helps. It's a very short video, but that's good, right? So anyway, if you have more things that you want me to cover in this kind of format, you just have to text me or uh, email me and let me know, and I'll do my best to get them posted as quickly as possible. Hope that helps, and we'll see you next time. I'm going to turn this off now.